All right. Um, so anyway, up here we have Noise and the Boys, and welcoming back Audrey Noise from her summer sojourn on uh, Fisher's Island. And uh, so we're gonna do a we're gonna do a few tunes for you, and uh, then I haven't even looked at the sign up list, but I know we have John Shin here, and we've got Ron here, and uh, I'm not sure if, who else signed up. Dan, are you gonna play? Yeah, I am. Yeah, right, okay, good. Oh, right, you're playing with your friend. Right, cool. So, all right, good. Uh, so, hit it. So the first thing we're gonna do is a song from Blind Faith. I'm sure you all know, Steve Whitman wrote it. it. Came out in 1969, called Can't Run Away Home. Ready? Whatever you are. Believe it or not, it was nominated for eight Grammys and won three that year. And uh, it's a great song. It's all about the words in this one. And it's a story that's told that, that people still argue about over what the words really mean. Um, and the, the author, uh, composer, she has her own 
ideas of what it means, but she said people keep interpreting it in a hundred different ways. And it was so good they even made a whole movie out of it. And it's called Ode to Billy Joel.
right? Yeah. Really, that's... Amazing. By the way, Bobby Gentry, who wrote the song, said, uh, she said it's about people's indifference to suicide. But other people say there's something else that they threw off the bridge. So uh, that was 1967. 1965, Bob Dylan came out with Highway 61 Revisited. It's when he went electric, and we all know what happened after that. Um, and this is one of the songs that was on the album um, called It Takes a Lot to Laugh, It Takes a Train to Cry. Oh 